long winds here at my parents' summer house. And I'm here with a good friend of mine, Shell Gustafsson. And uh, today I'm gonna make a, do a small interview with him. And it's gonna be real interesting. All right, let's go inside and meet him. Hey, how's it going? Good. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. It's going to be interesting to talk to Shell. Hello, Shell. Hello. Nice to have you here. Thank you. How are you? I'm very good. It's nice <laughs> to be here too. Yeah. It's, uh, I enjoy to, to ask you how you are because uh, I think it was maybe, I was a few years ago and asked you, how are you? And you said, you know, Peter, nowadays it's almost all the time very good. Yeah. And then I got really curious. So what's going on with this guy? Um, and I asked you and you, you told me a little bit. So. What is going on with Shell Gustafsson? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so, can you tell me a little bit about your... I mean, you're doing enlightenment intensives uh, nowadays sometimes, and I know that uh, you really enjoy going to them, you've been... I don't know, I think you've been at like 14 of them or something, maybe even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot so, more. But so what is it with an enlightenment intensive that, what is so good about it? Well, for me, it's, I think uh, everyone comes to a point in their search of, of, of happiness or joy, mm. or whatever kind of practice they do. Uh, when they realize that there is someone who's doing this practice, like who's doing this Tantra or Yoga, or, uh, and a lot of those practices are about coming somewhere, like striving to feel better, or, mm. and that's okay. In this practice, it's just to know who you are. It's just, who am I at this moment? And when that realization is, when we get who we are, there is no need for striving. We're just here. Uh, so I like uh, the process. There are several things in that process that I like. One is that there is no really teacher. There is no, no. I mean, we're sitting in diets, two, two and two, and <coughs> giving the other the instruction, tell me who you are. And while I'm listening to you, I get your wisdom. I get the reflection from you when I listen to you, and when I'm sitting at another one, uh, I get theirs. I, I, there, one could say that the, the room is full of teachers. <laughs> there is no one there. <laughs> I mean, the teacher is is somehow inside. Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, within ourselves. Mm. Yeah. What what I'm trying to say is that the belief system that mm. I have to do this and this and this and this and this. Yeah. to come to this state or this realization hmm. it's not needed yeah. I mean I had those thoughts I, when I did a, a, a retreat I thought oh next the uh, next retreat I will do this I will <laughs> no. just do some more meditation yeah. I will just do this and and it's not about that no uh, I think it's very helpful though to 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 do self-inquiry mm. uh, and it's because self-inquiry gives a distance 
to the th thoughts, the emotions, and the physical body mm. in a way that is. Uh, so we don't get lost in the stories. It also gives a, a distance to the to the stories. Mm. I mean, if I if I express my story to you, yeah. and then I sit in front of someone else and I express the same story, <laughs> and then another one. <laughs> I mean, it's boring. Yeah. You realize that the, the story you have uh, about, the story we have about ourselves, mm. is just a story. It's yeah. not who I am. It's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As some some gurus or some teachers say, when you can rest in awareness, yeah, everything is so easy. Yeah. Because the all the stuff that this person Peter wants is not so interesting. I mean, of course, I need to eat and rest and all the stuff, and it's good to enjoy and have fun. But stuff that were really important before is not as important anymore. Yeah. And the rest and the eating comes natural. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh... So, <laughs> what do you have to say to, I mean, <clears throat> some people that uh, see this might say, you know, but you're totally crazy. What do you mean? No, yeah. no shell or no Peter, you know, what do you mean? It's like, oh yeah, because when we have this story, it's like, of course I'm me. Yeah. So... There are several ways to, to, to experience this world. Yeah. One of the ways are through a character. Mm. And this character feels like if, if I am in the shell character mm. before, uh, I could feel that I was running my life. I could experience that there was separateness. I could lose myself in stories and I could be really angry and, and satisfied with that anger and then I, I mean I could uh, go into a lot of different uh, uh, contractions and mm. to live there gives a lot of suffering also mm. because uh, uh, in reality Shell doesn't have control over the world. No small individual has control over the world. So that's one way to live. Looking into who this shell character is, who this person is, mm. one will realize that this person is one. There is not any separate thing going on here. Two, this separate Identity is a construction, it's ideas. Three, the history of myself is not true. The history I have made up on myself has changed. It's, it's my current viewpoint of my history. Mm. That viewpoint will change all the time. My viewpoint on myself will change. It's just a, a thing. So, so when I see this, I start to realize, oh, this is not here. It's, it's here. And who am I now? Then I see, oh, I'm this awareness. I'm this awareness being mm. here, seeing this. Laughing about this joke that has go been going on. Like, yeah. wow. <laughs> this is really sick. And, and, and then there is a oscillation coming on. Sometimes I'm in the personality and I want to come out because I know this. Oh, it's so good out. And sometimes, oh, yes, I'm here again. <laughs> yeah. So it's going on like this. Mm. And it's so nice to be there. Mm. 
then there is another way of uh, experiencing this. <laughs> and you can get killed if you say what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I left this when I hear that. <laughs> or is it illegal? It's not illegal. So, so most people that has a religion mm. will say that God is everywhere in everything. Mm. Uh, or, or one could say if in philosophy that life is everywhere, or energy is everywhere, or this emptiness is everywhere. Uh. It is possible to experience the state of being the center of this. Mm. And in some words you can say then, then you are the universe, you are God. Yeah. yeah. You are, because that's also yeah. something that I've been, I've been seeing and thinking about it yeah. and, uh, yeah. in theory. Yeah many years you know because when I was young I read books about uh, North American Indians yeah. and they say that God is in everything yeah. and that really resonates with me yeah. and if God is in everything then it's also in me yeah. so that's like I think there's many people who can actually feel that yeah. feel the truth in that yeah. Yeah. and uh, and uh... That there is a lot of different kind of experience and, and, and in one problem with, with uh, uh, those kind of experiences is that they are so real, mm. so unimaginable, uh, big in some sense, or, or, or it's, it's like, uh, and they include things that is that we don't understand mm. from the the shell perspective mm. uh, even the, from the awareness expression so for instance that there is nothing and there is everything at the same time yeah, yeah. things that are totally uh, contradicted yeah and that everything exists within me. Mm. Yeah. And this little universe is like a tiny drop in the ocean. Mm. It's... Uh, yeah. So, there is a risk for striving towards to get sensations or experiences like this yeah. and this is something I find really interesting because in in the Tantra and other meditations and ceremonies and things I've been doing mm. I've been having and, and a lot of friends that I have have been having mystical experiences mm. and uh, I think that most people are looking for some kind of uh, release, some kind of relaxation mm. because most people understand and feel that there's something more yeah. and this contracted me yeah. that have problems yeah. there's something else than that and maybe they had a taste somehow of it yeah. and then um, what I have seen and what I have also uh, been doing myself is I have mistaken mystical experiences for oh that must be it mm. and then been looking for something that is so different from this normal reality yeah. but, but now when I had some taste of whatever you can call it uh, freedom or whatever yeah. you know then it's like aha it's just there's not the difference from the normal, the, the, the contracted Peter is not that big in some sense. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, it, it's there's a huge difference, but there's not 
it's not yeah. the mystical experience or or is it well mystical experience comes and goes yeah and uh, peter comes and goes the experience of, and, and shell comes and goes and, uh, i mean uh, this is is a very very uh, good question because uh, uh, from the perspective that we are sitting here, mm. everything is normal. It's it's nothing special at all. It's it's just so easy. Mm. Uh, it's it's uh, it's nearly ridiculous because. Uh, the difference between before and now is that there is satisfaction. There is, uh, there is uh, nothing to grasp, nothing to strive for. It, it's, it's beautiful, but it's not like, wow! <laughs> Look at this room, fantastic! <laughs> oh wow, the ocean, the waves. I mean, it's 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 fantastic. Hmm. And some of those mystical experiences is really like, wow, this is uh, this is uh, this is it. Hmm. At the same time. There is someone in those experiences. Yeah. It, it, is, it is a little bit, uh, yeah, someone. But there is awareness that is there, and it's the same awareness that is here. Mm -hmm. And and when when we are able to see that I am the same there as here, mm -hmm. then there is some kind of relaxation. Yeah. And yeah. I don't need that today, I'm just here. Well. Good. Thank you. <laughs> that was a good Thank explanation. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you see that you're not shell, yeah. then that doesn't just fall those problems fall away or <clears throat> Yeah, the, the, yeah. They yeah. definitely fall away. Definitely. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I like to say also, one cannot see this before one sees this. Mm. One, one cannot judge oneself for not seeing this. That is to, to give oneself a problem one doesn't really have. Mm. It's like the, the flowers on the trees, they are flowering when they are flowering. Mm. And the tree could say like, oh my God, I'm not flowering, there is someone flowering over there, I can see that. I mean, it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. And, and to do a, a practice, it's fine. It's do things that are fun. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we should stop here. Yeah, for now. For now. And uh, Shell holds self inquiry retreats, enlightenment intensives every now and then. And uh, we post some links uh, below this video. I don't know where the, when the next one's going to be. Now it's uh, Corona times, so no one really knows yeah. what's going to happen. And uh, we were also talking about maybe doing some retreats in Stockholm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, just check below this video if there's a link there's a link and then you can check out and see if there's a retreat to go to with Shell just on song. thank you so much Shell thank you it was a really a pleasure to talk to you yeah. I really nice enjoyed it thank you thank you Any fish yet? Not yet. Absolutely. <laughs>